with us on this news uh, now the earth has apparently gone through five mass extinctions caused by things such as asteroid impacts and global climate change and uh, there may be a sixth on the way and apparently it's affecting life in our oceans perhaps irreversibly we've got a report a new one out from the united nations a marine scientist say an astonishing three quarters of the world's coral reefs are at severe risk of decline and if they go uh, so will the huge diversity of marine life which calls them home. No joke for him, even though he's a clownfish. Uh, the ocean's also home to this deep-sea jellyfish, and it isn't safe either. The seabed's secreting large amounts of poisonous methane gas because the temperatures are going up, and some species may be extinct even before we actually know they're down there. So why is it happening? Three reasons, say the scientists. Uh, first one, ocean acidification faster than in the past 55 million years. The pH is changing and that leads to the warming of the seas, carbon dioxide accumulating and oxygen molecules depleting. The scientists make three immediate recommendations. Stop all non-sustainable fishing, reduce the dumping of pollutants in the oceans and make big reductions in greenhouse gases. Uh, Mark Meekan is a research scientist for the Australian Institute of Marine Science. He says something's got to happen right now. The report that's just been released suggests that we have less than a generation to act. But we really need to be concerned now because a lot of these problems, such as global warming, such as ocean acidification, have what's called momentum. Very soon, the feedback mechanisms that are in those processes may take the whole situation out of our hands and basically we'll be left with the consequences and we can't do anything about the causes. The time to act is now. That's the time we can actually deal with the causes, not just the consequences.